do really names affect uh, the person or have an effect on the person? Yes, indeed. Names do have an effect on the person. Actually, they shape the future and the lifestyle of the person. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cared a lot about names. Not just the names of individual and the children, boys and girls, but also the names of uh, objects, even the cities. You know, al Madina, its name before al Madina al Munawwara or Taiba or Taba, the city of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before the immigration was known as Yathrib. And Yathrib, that name was taken from at tathrib Read, if you wish, in Surah uh, Yusuf. لا تثريب عليكم اليوم So at tathrib is the blame or the sin, the fault. So that was the name of Yathrib. So the Prophet ﷺ said, no, it shouldn't be called Yathrib. And whoever calls it Yathrib afterward, he has committed a sin, let him seek forgiveness. So what's the name of the city? He said rather it is Taiba, Wataba, the home of Iman, the home of peace, Darul Iman, Darul Salam, etc. The city of the Prophet ﷺ. Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib, may Allah be pleased with him, is one of the great Tabi'een. He was known as the Sayyid, the master of Tabi'een, the second generation of, of this Ummah. Those who have seen the companions and did not have a chance to see the Prophet ﷺ or meet him. Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib said, his grandfather whose name was Hazan has entered upon the Prophet ﷺ. He said, what's your name? He said, my name is Hazan. He said, no, your name should not be Hazan. Hazan, what does the word Hazan mean? Hazan means harsh, hard, tough. He said, rather your name should be Sahl, easy, easy going. He said, I'm not going to change a name that my father named me. So he said, okay. So Saeed ibn al-Musayyib, may Allah be pleased with him, said, فَمَا زَالَتْ تِلْكَ الْحُزُونَ تُفِينَ We still maintain this hardship, this hardship because of the name. So names do have an effect. That's why it is not permissible to name the boys these kind of soft names which are perfectly fine to be given to girls. A boy should be raised as a mujahid. Yes, of course, as a mujahid. Not as uh, a girl or not like a boy who is imitating a girl. The name would reflect on the individual. Similarly, the girls, we should not give them tough names. No names of uh, people who are very famous of their prostitution, of their evil doing. They are either singers or musicians or whatever. So you cannot choose a name for your daughter after a singer or a dancer or whatever. Choose a name and the names are plenty, mashallah. Some of the names which we receive, Hajara, and this is a name of a girl. That's not right. Hajara, who wants to marry a Hajara? Hajara means a stone or a rock. Uh, and unfortunately, some of the names which come in writing should be immediately changed. Bin to zina, for instance. The word zina means adultery. So when you say the daughter of zina, this is an illegitimate born, a child who is born out of a legitimate relationship, an illicit relationship. It isn't sufficient, as some people do, and it is very common in the indo pak society. They open the Quran. And once a child is born, they open the Quran. They see the name, any word that they like, that's it. This is the name which Allah chose for me. No, Allah didn't choose that name for you. You chose it. It is wrong, but you chose it. You remember when we have uh, a name of Lava. 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 How could you call your girl Lava? So what's Lava to begin with? Lava is a blazing fire. One of the names of fire of hell. He just opened the Quran. He liked it. Boom. He gave his daughter that name. No. Nowadays, it is very simple to... Search the name 
or pick up the phone and call somebody who knows Arabic or knows names or I'm pretty sure in every community there is a local Imam whom you can consult. Is this name okay? Because names do reflect on those who have been named after these names. When I name my son Muaz, one of my children's name is Muaz, I always imagined Muaz ibn Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him. I was visiting a friend of mine, and this friend of mine, mashallah, may Allah bless him, is a multi-billionaire. It doesn't mean that I'm rich uh, as well, but he's a very kind person. So anyway, I saw one of his sons, and he said, mashallah, he finished the Quran, and he's leading the prayer in Ramadan in one of the masajid, when I inquired about him. So what is the name? He said Mu'ad. I remembered that was the name of Mu'ad ibn Jabal, who's known as the mountain of knowledge. So my wife was pregnant at this time. I said, that's it. If it is a boy, it must be Mu'ad. After Mu'ad ibn Jabal, especially when you've seen uh, his child, who's, mashallah, achieved the memorization of Quran, etc. So when the son grows up, or when the daughter, you know you're named after Safiya. Who's Safiya? Safiya, the mother of the believers. And you start narrating stories of Safiya and also Safiya, the prophet's aunt, and her courage and, and so on. So that would definitely reflect on the person. I know that many people have named their sons Bush and George Bush. Okay, you will get what you named. You will get what you're looking for. The names of the companions are so beautiful. There are so many beautiful names, brothers and sisters, whether for boys or girls. And it is also the sunnah that when the child grows up and now he's independent, if his name or his family's name is a shameful name or a name that refers to disbelief or a name that refers to worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or a name that refers to an illicit meaning, right away they should change their names as the Prophet ﷺ did with many of the companions.